Good morning, YouTube. Hello, YouTube, should I say. Hello, YouTube. How are you? Oh, I was up early this morning. Didn't sleep great. I was excited. I was excited. This, we were supposed to be going to France. If you've been following the channel for a while, uh, you would have seen at the beginning of the year our DGS schedule. And this is the days of the away day. We were supposed to be going to France, playing Holo Le Pins, Holo Le Junes. And um, I've decided to postpone it with everything that's going on. I thought, let's just put it back a year. Obviously, there was no charge for that, so we just put it back to next year. And I then had to frantically rearrange another one. So we're doing an away day at home, pretty much. Uh, courses that allow us to play that I could sort out in sort of short time period, really. And day one is Pine Ridge, which is where we're playing today. And day two is Dudsbury, which is pretty local to me. But uh, I've played obviously both of them courses before. I have vlogged both those courses before. Uh, so <clears throat> this vlog will be about the tour, not necessarily about the course as such. Obviously, we'll be filming the par threes, obviously. And uh, and bits and pieces there and thereabouts. And we'll be giving you updates and everything else. But um, uh, something I didn't mention in the last uh, event, DGS event at Poulton's, uh, I forgot to tell you who won their matches in the match play. So Stuart Johnson beat Rich, Ryan Tricky beat Jason Harville, Robin Downton beat Alex Marsh. Controversial that one. And what was the other game? What was the other game? I can always remember three, never quite four. Oli Bull lost to John Badminton. That was it. So uh, those four went through. Since then, I won my match against Dale Athey. Thank you very much. Shot a 10 over at Moors Valley, actually, which I was very happy with, birdie in the last. I won two and one. Andy Wright beat Sam Horrigan. Great match. They played the same time at Moors, and they went down to the 20th hole. Really good. Andy Wright was dormy too, and Sam parred the last two to take it back to all square, and then they both parred the first. And then, unfortunately, Sam little error and went in the ditch out the back had to take a drop and Andy was sort of 15 foot for birdie so Andy won Andy won the match but it was a good match uh, and what else happened uh, Carl Shoulders beat Ryan Tricky and they both played excellent golf to do so the, their gross scores at Wareham Golf Club were, were very impressive I think Carl shot 72 and Ryan shot uh, 79 or something so some good golf. <coughs> so that leads me back on to today, the away day. It's a two-day medal stroke play event. Um, count up your shots, deduct your handicap, and that's your score. Simple golf, how it was meant to be. There's a lot of informed players at the moment. Westy's just had a cut at Crane, so he's down to 19 dead. I mean, the society is off 17, but he shot 41 points at Crane, which is 17 over. So. He's always pretty there or thereabouts. He's a very sensible player and keeps the ball in play. Robin Hayes is down to 12 now at Ferndown. Uh, he's in 13 in the tour. So he has been playing some consistently good golf for a while now. So he has got to be one to watch. He always does well in a medal and away day. Again, he always keeps the ball in play. Like I just mentioned, Carl shooting a 72 or 73 at Wareham means he is striking the ball well and uh, he's going to be there or thereabouts. And these two courses are scorable, I think. We're going to play them off the whites, so we're playing them off the tips. But um, I think they're scorable courses. This should be the lowest scoring away day, in theory. And then Ollie Moore, you saw him at Moores Valley. Whew, that boy <coughs> has got some potential too. So he is off 13 in the society, so a little bit trickier for him. But he could be there or thereabouts if he can keep his head so that's four. That's four picks. There's only 15 of us playing today. There's 14 of us playing tomorrow. So there's only 14 that qualify for the trophy. It's going to be tight. And I think it's going to be low scoring. But it's exciting. So I'm going to have a Mackey's. I'm not actually going to have a Mackey's. I'm waiting for Ollie here. And I, I was going to get coffee. I'm not even going to bother doing that. Body's a temple, you know. Have a bacon roll and coffee out there. And then we'll have a chat with a few people. See how they are feeling. There he is. There he is, look. Hey, hey. Hello. How are you feeling about today, Oliver? 
Is, was this gone out after? Yeah. Five? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, when that was six and four, what did you think about the uh, talk at the end? Interesting. I was watching it back, and uh, I was still thinking that I was, I was right. Interesting. Very, very interesting. It's a bit weird having the away day. At close, home, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it I'm is weird. In France right now, so. Yeah. But I've still got a week off. Sun's out. Playing golf. What more could we ask for? Exactly. Could be raining in Wales. No, France. Could be raining. Raining. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> Trying to plug your channel. Could be waning. Yeah. Wayne Dewey. That is my name. <laughs> what do you think of your chances? What today? Yeah. Um. And tomorrow. Yeah, I think. Um, I think if the driver stays in the bag and I just think about what I'm doing, I'll be all right. I agree. I bet there are some very good players. You know, Carl's been playing well, hasn't he? Robin's been cut again. Yeah. Um, the caliber's high today. Like, you've got the badmintons that are always dangerous. Yeah. Ryan on his day. Well, he's leading the DGS Tour <laughs> yeah, at the moment. Ryan. Yeah, Ryan is very good at golf. Leading the DGS Tour. Ryan's very good at golf. Uh, who else? Harville. Jason Harville. Yep, Jason. <laughs> Dan Ackerman. Ackerman. Probably cycle it, wouldn't he? Probably. Yeah, uh, in a minute. So there you go. There you go. What about you, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Speak up. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I like Pine Ridge. It's a good course. I've played well here before. Whether I can uh, emulate that again is another thing. Uh, it's a shame the old COVID. Obviously, there's bigger fish to fry, but it's annoying that like, club shops shut and stuff, it looks like, which is a bit of a shame. It looks a bit depressing with the uh, shutters down, but... So we're going to go and hit some balls and then got a bacon roll and then we'll have a putt and a chip and a... Is Mike West playing today? Yes, he is. That's another one. Yeah, it is. That's probably the main one, I'd say. Do you? I think it's between Westy, Robin and Carl. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the driving range. It's top tracer range. Just warming up. And uh, Ollie flushing the balls. Using the picture mode at the moment. It is a glorious day today. Beautiful blue sky. Nice 131 yarder. Guy's a player. He's a player. They just fly a long way today, aren't they? Aren't they, Wayne? Isn't that your normal pitching wedge distance? Yeah, about that. So, there you go. Are you aiming for anything in particular? A bit right, that one. bit right. £9.50 for an hour time slot you have here. So we're just sharing it. <laughs> oh, straight down the middle. It's on his head. Oh no. Four. Oof. <laughs> Carried him. You're okay. That was a big one. One, four, two. Pitching wedge. Swing harder, Ollie. <laughs> do you reckon you could get further than 142? That was pure, wasn't it? Yeah, do you reckon I get, I'll maybe get 150, should I try 150? Go on then, try 150. <laughs> <laughs> Gone after it. Ooh, worse than before, rubbish. That's uh, still pretty good. A little bit heavy. Anywho, we'll catch up with some people in a minute when we're having bacon rolls. It is looking glorious. Look at it. That's the 18th par 5 hit up to the corner on. 10th hole over there. It's a tight one. I think that's SI1 actually. Uh, 9th, another par 5 for each one and two. First tee down there. Some people started to turn up, just got got me coffees. Um, Here's Ryan. Good morning. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm very well. Are you okay? Hi, YouTube. Oh, there no, can Hello. Get it Hello. Hello. Yeah, very good. What an amazing day. Beautiful, isn't it? Sun's Great shining. Weather. Course looks pretty good considering we've had you know, quite a lot of dry weather. It's been dry, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's looking all right. Yeah, it's looking all right. I think they've, from my recall, I've played this like probably like 16 years, 17 years ago, and I'm sure. 17 years ago. Quite a long time ago. <laughs> been ages ago. <laughs> I was a student back then. Blimey. And it was my first expensive round. But, you know. Okay. But it's all good. Yeah. This is all good now. Uh, how are you feeling? You're the current leader of the DGS Tour. So how are you feeling coming into the away day? <sighs> Medals are not my favourite game, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, I, I went out with, we played Carl in our match play. And yeah. Well done, Carl, by the way. Yeah. He uh, beat me on the 18th. Um, yeah, I went around 78, I think it was. Very good. Pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, but, it should um, be. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, I think. A yeah. Few, uh, few hits on the range, see how that goes. That's exciting, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait, mate. Pre away day nerves, wait. I love it. I love it. Thank you, sir. No worries. Here he is. Well, mate. Go Fred, on. how you doing? Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, how are you feeling about today? You've been playing a lot of good golf lately. You might be one of my top picks. Yeah, it's been a heavy weekend, though. Mm, so you'll be relaxed, Tired. feeling good. Yeah. It's not too much of a long course, no. so you'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be all right, won't it? You never played it before, though, have you? Never played it. Never played <coughs> it. Looks all right. Looks like it could be a little bit tight. It's a little bit tight in places, yeah. But there are places you can get the driver out later on. Yeah. Par fives are gameable. Just drive off first. I'll be all right. Yeah. You've had a couple of cuts recently. You're down to 12 in real life. Yep. And you're off 14. 14 today. Yeah. I can't believe you're 14. I thought you were at least 13. Uh, 14, so you got two spare shots. Two bonus, two bonus shots. <sighs> Jesus. What could possibly go wrong, eh? Yeah, so over the two days, you've got four spare shots. Yeah. God. But you see, <coughs> it's I'm a no-brainer, isn't it, YouTube? Who do, what? Who do you think, YouTube? Who's going to win this away day? I'm amazingly good at ruining day two, though. You have got previous. Yeah, you know, 19 on one hole, for example. Yeah, that's the maximum you can have now with the VPAR app, is a 19. Brilliant. So if anyone's at 19... So no one's ever going to beat my record? No, you've. Made they can only tie it. About that. I mean, Stu had, what, about 10 shots out of a bunker and still beat it? He did, yeah. Yeah, that was a bad hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we won't do that tomorrow. No, or today. Yeah. The other ones, I've then had to go home, so I didn't even play the second day. Yeah, that's right. And you're always in position, though. So you're the man to beat, in my eyes. Last year I got horrendously drunk in between the two rounds yeah, and you couldn't play golf the second day. You threw that away on purpose. Yeah, self-sabotage. Yeah. It's good fun though. There we go, there we go. And there's the old skipper over there, look. How you doing, Skip? You okay? Yeah, good. You? Yes, I'm very well. Have you recovered from the Poltons? Why, what happened at Poltons? <laughs> <laughs> I have recovered. Age, you forget about those rounds pretty quickly. Yeah, you do, and you have to. Else. Yeah, quite right, quite right. Yeah. You've played it before, haven't you? You've played here before. I have played here before. Really you. Enjoyed it. Do you? Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> played with, um, played, yeah, with Simon. It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you've played it a few times, you say? Yeah, I've played it a few times. So I was with Stu and Si. Yeah, some players. Ash, yeah, yeah. It's a lovely course. Lovely course. Tree line, um, most holes are separated from each other, so you feel like you're the only ones on the course. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Looking forward to it. No, no, Looking forward to it. Have you played here before? I, I have. Be doing the yeah, I've played here a couple of times. Yeah. Played here a couple yeah, of times. If you watched my YouTube channel, Rich, you'd see I've done a full vlog against Mr. Pearson here. <laughs> a long time ago. Yes, and he chipped in. It was on the. I chipped in. Oh, you chipped in. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's an easy play. mistake to make. That's you'd think right. he would have chipped in. Yeah. 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 That was, uh, so I've got fond memories. Excellent. Be nice to carry it through. It's a beautiful day. It certainly is. Blue skies. Thank you very much, sir. Everyone's creeping in. Hey. Bacon rolls have turned up. Oh, delightful. Oh, the anticipation. The anticipation. Right, I'm going to jump in on the bacon, bacon rolls. <laughs>
Okay, that is not a good start, is it? That is not a good start. I shanked one out right. Did find it, knocked it back. I just knocked it right. Missed the green right. I still had 200 odd yards in. Everyone's struggling. Sam's got his first. It's hit that a bit hard. A bit knifey. It's gone right into the trees out the back, isn't it? Quite possibly, yeah. Mm. Another reload. Yeah, good idea. So like Danny found his first. He's knocked out quite nicely. Head up. Is that your first there, Ryan, in the middle? Yeah. Nice. Whose bridge stone is this? Uh, that's Danny's bridge. So yeah, not a great start, but we are all in play now. Jesus, those are soft bunkers. Hit them hard if you're taking that much sand, Wayne. Hit them hard. It is not going well. Played two holes and I am six over. Triple, triple. Par three. Beautiful par three. 135 yards to the flag. Ooh. Ryan playing really well. He is currently level par. Just birdie the last, bogey the first, birdie the last. Might have just jinxed him. Let's go over that way. He's racing into the trees, Ryan. <laughs> Danny is three over through two. Doubled the first part, uh, bogeyed the last. Oh, nice up in those trees. I'm going to see it come down. This is a very similar... Oh, it's come down, Danny. Yeah. You're fine. It's a very similar group to Poulton's. Let's hope I'm not in the very s with the same players tomorrow because it doesn't seem to help me, or any of us for that matter. So yeah, 125 yards to the flag. It's uphill, as you can see. I think the wind is across us, but I'm going to go with the 9-9. Let's try and get it up front edge. Sam is currently two over. Bogey golf. Nice strike. Oh. Yeah, deceptive. I'm contemplating going eight. Nice little shot of Wayne's backside. Let's hope he can uh, get back some sort of form in this. Not doing so well to begin with. I'm sure, I mean, he knows he can do better. Let's stick this one in close. Yep, 
It's going, it's up there. It's a little bit short, similar to mine. Just rolling back down the hill, unfortunately. Sam and I with par putts on the furthest right. Sam's where he is. Danny putting for bogey and Ryan putting for bogey as well. I will take the bogey. We'll just steady the ship a little bit there. Ryan makes bogey here unbelievable. Oh, he nearly did, you know. He nearly did. For bogey. I miss low, it's always going to miss low. Cracking holds here, absolutely beautiful. He's just going to mark that, take his time. Very wise, very wise. Uh, particularly downhill ones, these. This is the bar. Naughty little break on that. Naughty! Down four. Bogey golf. Yeah. Oh. Level part of three over in one hole. Unlucky, mate. It's just one bad one. I've had two bad ones. Five? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Five, so two fours, a five, and a six. Shots gained. Mm. Okay, par three, six, I think we are now. 166 yards to the flag. Straight into wind. I have settled the ship, calmed the ship a little. Right, Danny. For the last hole, we, we all made pars except for Sam, we birdied the hole, which was a, oh, a bit heavy, which was a par five. Um, the others are doing well. I am actually officially last. Look, on the VPAR app, I'm still last at the moment. But a few pars, and I will be grinding it back out. Everyone else has a horror show somewhere on a medal. Ryan's doing well. He's, he's had a couple of birdies. So he's doing very well. Danny's down the bottom with me at the moment. Oh, Curse of the commentator. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, he literally did just make a tap in birdie. It was an eagle. And I was just going to done that. That's what happens. I think I said it in the last vlog. You make a birdie, you come out, and you think you're pro. The way it goes. Anyway, Ryan's still going well. That's a good one, but it is leaking a bit right. Oh, did not see that down. Rolled down the mound. Well, that was not great. That was pretty bad. Oh well. Up and down for a par. It's quite big up and down. But up and down nonetheless. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, he is. Shanked it very right. It is over there somewhere. It's like, well, you might have seen it just bouncing through there. I can see it. Onwards and upwards. Oh, geez. Camera's falling apart. Okay, we are just on the 10th tee now, and it's 
it's not been great. I mean, I've sort of steadied the ship a little bit, but I just can't get my shots back. I'm still last, plus eight over my, eight over my handicaps. So I've just shot a 50 front nine. It's not good. And got Shar and Rich just above me and Dan all tied on plus six on two shots behind them. Then you've got Ollie, Sam, plus four. Robin, Ryan, plus three. Marshy, Dale, plus one. Then you've got three people on minus one. A minus two and a minus five out the front. Oh, I just need to make a few pars and sneak some back. It's not going well. Sorry about the lack of footage. But I did say I wouldn't be filming a lot today. So I've turned the corner. Since we turned the corner, I've gone par birdie. Just a little bit better, just grinding them back out. So now I'm back to plus six or five. I think I'm plus five now, or maybe six. I think I'm plus six, which is okay. Um, in fact, I'm not last anymore. These boys have just messed up on the last hole, so probably like second or third from last. But this hole is an absolute belter. She's 200 yards in the middle of the green, par three. I, I definitely think the back nine is better. And here we've caught up with those boys. There's um, <coughs> some slow walks down there, hanging their heads. <sighs> so, our boys are ready to go. I'm playing this as 185. It's downhill a fair old way. Hoping that's going to be about right. Oh, he'd smash that left. He'd smash that left over there. Oh, it's hit something hard. Don't worry, he always looks like that. <laughs> Both Sam and Ryan are sort of losing their heads a little bit in the last few holes. Ryan was really annoyed just me because he made a bogey. He made a bogey and he was real annoyed. Well, Sam's pumped that out right, which is going to be okay. You're fine, Sam. Just down next to the bunker. Absolutely fine. Yeah, it's not great, granted. See what I mean about losing heads? Stuff like that, you know, we all do bad shots. It's just trying to keep composed. That's leaking a bit right as well. It's going to come down for Anchorage. Yep. Yeah, just there. Go on, nailed it. Nailed it. Beautiful hole. Lovely, lo uh, uh, lovely. Shame about my shot. I have really lost my head these last three holes. On eight, eight, seven, absolute terrible. Need to pull some sort of a game back. Don't want to be in the first group out tomorrow. Yeah, it's going right edge. Somewhere over here. Oh, it's in the bunker, I think. Well, we're on the 17th now. Lack of footage. Granted, I can only apologise for that, but sometimes you just want to play golf and have wonky glasses on your face. Must be my wonky nose. Anyway, par three, 100 yards to the middle of the flag. Lovely hole, this one. It's straight across. Oh, oh dear. Straight across a little valley. Very lovely indeed. Oh, and he's chunked it. He's chunked it. Glad I got him in focus just in the nick of time. I will tell you we're all pretty close now, score-wise. I've been hanging on in there. Uh, obviously, the prize giving will be coming up shortly, so I'm not going to tell you the scores and positions. Comment below. Who do you think's leading day one? Yeah, this is literally 100 yards to the middle of the green. It's into wind, actually. I just felt that kick up. And he's poked to that left. Should be fine. There it is. Yeah, fine. 
This is really tricky, this, because it's like 90 yards to the front edge, 100 yards to the middle, and like 105 or 108 to the back. So it's a really small green. The wind is blowing right into us at the moment, so you know little, I was thinking a 52, it's just going to go straight up. It might end up coming up short, which is my worry. My 52 goes 100. So, um, yeah, tricky. Flag is now in the shade. There you go. Well, he's out right. Should kick round if it comes down in play. Is it anywhere? No. Doesn't come back to play. Shot that really well. Did you? Oh dear. Bless Sam. Oh dear. I'm thinking about changing my club, to be honest. What are you hitting? Not 52. I hit sand wedge, 54. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a little thing on the screen that tells you if you're on the wonk. I like that. Right, let's get on this. Where's he going to go? He's definitely going to sit in the middle, isn't he? Right in front of the flag. Should we shimmy? Did you capture it? That's very annoying. Cause that was all... That was, I think that was 100% the right club, right distance. Let's see where this goes. Let's get in. Oh, get in the action. Oh, he's that is very fat and it's down in there somewhere. It's like down there. Far out. Not great. Final group coming in and Westy with an eagle opportunity there. <clears throat> Looking like a tapping birdie. Outrageous. <laughs> this is the final group. Mm. Good for that. Yeah, People, 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 thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. Much appreciated. Uh, I'll make it real quick because you all know the leaderboard already. Uh, there were two twos today and that was Dale and Carl. Dale would like me to note that it was an eagle too. So, well done. If you uh, don't mind Corona, come on up. I know you're eating, feel bad. Eagle 2. What was the Eagle 2? 15. 15. Near short part 4 uphill. Yeah. Good hole. Well done. Still very good. Um, uh, there were no nearest the pins today. That's my fault. Totally forgot to put them out. Uh, but leaderboard in reverse order. And this is the order you're going out tomorrow. So we're starting with. Uh, two three balls and two four balls. In last place with a net 86 today. Can all be changed tomorrow, Rich, Richard Smith. <laughs> In 14th, Daniel Ackerman with a net 82. Tied 11th with net 80s was Ollie Moore, Sam Horrigan and myself. 10th, Shah with a 79. In 9th with a 78, Mr. Harvel. Eighth with a 77, Ryan Tricky. Tied sixth with 73, Stuart Johnson, Alex Marsh. 72, par on the nose, Mr. Hayes number f with in fifth place. Fourth place with 71, Johnny Babington. Then with a net 70, Carl Shoulders. With a net 69, Dale Athey. And with a net 67, Michael West. Wow. And as day one winner, you win balls. Congratulations. Very good, mate. Hell of a round. Um, I will post, um, post tomorrow's start times and stuff later on on Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's another day. So drive safe. Much love. Thanks, Wayne. And I'll see you.
in the morning. Cheers, guys. Thank you.